Welcome back. President Biden headed to Springfield, Virginia later today to give a speech touting the economy. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says he will also focus on the GOP's economic strategy. Watch this. He's also going to call out uh, Republicans in particular in the House who are saying they want to cut Social Security, who have said very clearly they want to cut Medicare, uh, they want to uh, cut med Medicaid or defense spending. Joining me right now is a man who knows what will be cut and what won't be cut. He is Missouri Congressman. He is chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, Jason Smith. Mr. Chairman, congratulations on your new appointment. Thanks for being here. It's great to always be with you, Maria. Thank you so much. So I want to get your take on what you just heard from Karine Jean-Pierre. Are Republicans planning to cut Medicare and Social Security? Absolutely not, Maria. As chair of the House Ways and Means Committee, we have control, sole jurisdiction over Social Security and most of Medicare. And I can tell you, we will not be cutting Social Security or Medicare in the House Ways and Means Committee. And that is exactly the truth. The problem is you have all this fear mongering coming in from the White House to try to distract the real issue at hand. And that is the president needs to come to the table and talk to Speaker McCarthy and House Republicans to address the debt crisis that's approaching. We have this debt crisis because President Biden and the House Democrats and the Senate Democrats for the last two, two years have spent more than an increase of $10 trillion. It's led to the highest spike in prices in 40 years, the, the fastest rise in interest rates in 40 years. And so they're trying to distract from that to try to fear all Americans that we're going to do something that we're absolutely not going to do. Well, look, we broke the news last week that uh, Speaker McCarthy was having this meeting with West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin. He had the meeting. They discussed this debt ceiling. And you know, Congressman, you're about to have this showdown on what you are going to cut. So are you planning to go back to 2022 spending levels? And doesn't that mean a $75 billion cut in defense spending? We are going back to fiscal year 22 spending levels. But think about this, Maria. That's what we were spending just over three weeks ago. That was before they passed the $1.7 trillion spending bill. It wasn't that long ago, and so it's not that much to ask. And there's no guarantee what's going to be cut because you have to go through the appropriations process, look at defense and non-defense. But there are numerous ways to not, not cut defense and cut a lot of non-defense discretionary and still be able to to hit it in fiscal year 22 numbers. These are the numbers that was just over three weeks ago. Well, look, you have the Democrats borrowing five plus trillion dollars in a two year period. That is why we're facing this ceiling here that was breached last week. And the Treasury has to do extraordinary moves, according to Janet Yellen, to get us just to June. So what are you going to do once June comes along? You're not going to play with markets by uh, allowing people to think that we're going to default on our debt, right? Republicans will not default on our debt, Maria. That's why we are asking President Biden, Chuck Schumer, to come to the table right now so we're not waiting till June. Let's take care of the problem now. We need to address the fiscal insanity that's happening in Washington. And if we don't, we're just postponing the next debt crisis. We have to get our house in order, have President Biden come to the table. He did this when he was vice president of the United States. They had the, the, the big CAPS agreement in 2011. Let's get some kind of agreement. Let's work together. Let's not just keep playing the political, political games. Yeah, I mean, look, you've got to have some boundaries in place. No wonder we were at 40-year high inflation. What's your take on where we are right now? Are we going into a recession? And what are your goals for House Ways and Means? Boy, things don't look good. You know, we're highest inflation in 40 years. Interest rates has risen the fastest in 40 years. Uh, our economy is not looking too great. And the leadership out of the White House is pathetic. So that really scares me. In regards to the Ways and Means Committee, we are going to try to deliver for working class families. We're going to provide for small businesses, family farmers, and the American worker. That is the key. We need to make sure we use a tax code and trade policies to incentivize our strategic supply chains, when it comes to energy, when it comes to food, when it comes to health care. And we're going to have aggressive oversight over this administration. In fact, yesterday, I set up a whistleblower hotline for the IRS because any employee of the IRS that thinks that the Ways and Means Committee should look at something that's not exactly right over there, 
maybe they'll be able to tell us and we can uncover that leaf. So We're going to be quite aggressive in that. So you set up a whistleblower number for the IRS. You and your colleagues have already rescinded the funding that Joe Biden wanted to allocate to the IRS, $80 billion to hire 87,000 new IRS agents. Where is that money going and what can you tell us in terms of taxes this year and next? It's already law. Joe Biden signed it into law. The taxes are going up this year, right? Yeah, it, unfortunately, because of the Inflation Reduction Act, that's already signed into law, but the House of Representatives, the first, res the first resolution that we did was to repeal that $80 billion. We need the Senate to act. We're going to continue to use every tool in the toolbox to go after this. It's wasteful money that's going to the IRS. This is money that should be going back to the American people, not to hire 87,000 IRS agents. Congress, that but, needs to be our focus. Real quick before you go, what taxes are going to go up this year? What do our viewers need to understand about their tax bill this year? Well, there's numerous things that we need to look at, especially as of last year, research and development. That, that expired because the Democrats were playing games over in the Senate during the chips bill and some other processes and allowed it to expire. You're looking at accelerated depreciation, a percentaging out. That affects small businesses. And you're looking at the taxes that's coming up on U.S. energy that was in the Inflation Reduction Act. That's going to affect all Americans. We need to go after these adverse taxes and help deliver for the American people. Um, and when you say go after these taxes, is there any way you can roll that back this year? How, what's the timing on that? You know, I think that there's all kinds of tools that we can use, Maria, to roll them back. And I'm looking for every opportunity, every opportunity, because we have to deliver for working class families. All right, Congressman, we're going to be watching your work again. Thanks very much for being here and for the appointment chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. Congressman Jason Smith. Thank you, Thank you sir.